in a problem like this is you might look at this and say, Mr. Goldie, there's no roots, though. But remember, rational powers relate to roots, right? They're the same thing. So again, the first thing we're going to want to do is undo everything that's happening to my power being raised to root. Remember, if I had x to the 2 thirds, if you guys remember, that's the same thing as the cube root of x squared. Do you guys remember talking about that? Two class periods on Monday, we talked about that. So really, raising it to the 2 thirds is the same thing as a root. It's just written in a different format. So the first thing we're going to do, though, is I'm going to undo multiplication by 3. So I'll divide by 3 on both sides. So now I have this raised to, um, or I have that x plus 1 to the 2 thirds equals 4. Now, how do I get rid of raising something to the 2 thirds? Hmm. Well, you guys remember, to get rid of the square root, what did we do? What do we do to get rid of the square root? Not so much multiply by 2, but it's similar. You raise it to the power. You square it. So you're going to raise it to the power of 2, right? Now, what I want you guys to understand is what if I wrote this instead of square root, what if I wrote the square root as 1 to the 1 half? Raising it to the power, what you guys see is the 1, is the one half and the raising to the power are reciprocals of each other. So the way to get rid of rational roots is to raise it to the reciprocal power. So I'm going to raise this to the 3 halves power. Why would you raise it to the 3 halves power? Well, because when you multiply a number times its um, reciprocal, it's going to equal 1. So therefore, I have to raise this to the 3 halves power. So I'm left with x plus 1 equals 4 to the 3 halves. And then you guys might be looking at this. Justin, can you stay after school for a second, please? Then what we go through on this is now we are going to simply rewrite this as a radical. So I'm going to have x plus 1 equals the square root of 4 cubed. Almost. Now we simply need to determine what 4 cubed is, which is 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64. So I have x plus 1 equals the square root of 64. The square root of 64 is 8. Well, be careful. We have to make sure that um, whenever we introduce, introduce this, that we have to include the positive and the negative. So we have to include the positive and the negative. So we have x. Um, so now we subtract 1. Oh my god, how is it still going? <laughs> when you to introduce the square root, when I, you, I, I, when I, you I, raise I, it to that power, I'll excuse, I'm just explaining. When you raise it to this power, you have to make sure you include the positive and the negative. Okay. So therefore, I have x um, equals negative 1 plus or minus 8. Well, negative 1 plus 8 is going to give you a 7. And negative 1 minus 8 is going to equal a negative 9. Are we done now? Now, <laughs> All right, I'm the, the last thing that you're going to want to do check. is check your answers. All right, well, I'm not, I won't go over it, but the last thing you're going to want to do is make sure you plug in your 7 and your negative 9 into your solution. And I can just tell you that they both are solutions. Um, Okay.